someone I'd like to emulate after. Her name is Kathy Choate, and she's been a Toastmaster for 15 years. During that time, she has served as an officer. There's lots of officers in each year, I believe. It's voted on, and you have to do something to become an officer. <laughs> the only part of the officer she has not been is as treasurer, and you may tell us why or why not. I would not be a good treasurer because I don't do well with money. <laughs> so this last year, she has served as our district in our district as Lieutenant Governor of Marketing and is the current Lieutenant Governor Education and Training elect. When she's not a Toastmaster, she assures us she is a registered nurse and she works at Cedar Sinai Hospital in the oncology and hematology department, taking care of patients. She's learned a lot of things from this job. And from her job, she has <coughs> germinated the speech she will deliver here today. Like that. <laughs> she's working in the competent communication manual and is addressing project number four. Buckle your seatbelts and get ready. The title of her speech is called Collites, Bedpans, and Drugs. Please welcome Kathy Choate. Madam Toastmaster, and good afternoon, Ventura County Master Communicators. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How many of you, by show of hands, find the fun at work? I thought so. You seize those moments, you sketch them indelibly in your mind, and you savor the memories. Well, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests, nurses are stereotyped as being nurturing, compassionate, and trustworthy. Studies report this, but aren't they really? <laughs> The purpose of my talk today is to give you a better understanding of the fun, the glamorous, the wonderful world of nursing. Allow me to humorously present the nursing profession, or what I affectionately refer to as colites, bedpans, and drugs. <laughs> now to begin with, in order for me to tell you what nursing is, I have to tell you what it is not. It is not a concierge service. <laughs> Contrary to what many of the Hollywood stars, the nurses at Cedar sinai Medical Center, the hospital to the stars, are not glorified bellhops that work in a five-star hotel. It is not our job to lug in your luggage, <laughs> to call engineering in the middle of the night to adjust your room temperature, <laughs> or to interrupt a cold blue to run to the good shop for your paper. <laughs> now let me tell you what nursing is. And to do this, I have to remember a fellow patient called Hezekiah. Hezekiah Hedgepath. No, the name has not been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> Hezekiah is what we call a frequent flyer, and that means that he makes frequent visits to the hospital, and over the course of several admissions, we've become acquaintances. And as a matter of fact, he's nicknamed me as Katrina Schultz. <laughs> Now one day, I was his nurse, I spent, oh gosh, 20, 25 minutes with him, going over his lab values, doing an assessment, giving him his meds, vitals, all that stuff that we do in the morning, discuss plan of care. I thought we were done, so I went out of the room. No sooner, but to my surprise, he put on his call light. He says, I go back in, Katrina, then is breath. I think, I think, still no breakfast. I think. <laughs> I said, well, okay, this must be pretty important. So we get put a rush on his tray. A little bit later that morning, that day, he calls me in. You won't believe what he called me in for. He called me in to trim his nose hairs. No. <laughs> Now that's outside my scope of practice. <laughs> but, but I must admit they needed it 
that it was not a Bonnie view. <laughs> <laughs> and the ear in the ear, she could have braided them. And so I was frustrated. I said, Hezekiah, are we going to be high maintenance all day today? <laughs> now, it's a good thing it wasn't Super Bowl Sunday because I'm an avid football fan. And he didn't have his TV on. He wouldn't have seen me all day. <laughs> One other time, he put on his call light. Matter of fact, he was on his call light like flies on flypaper. He stuck to it. And I bolted into his room and I said, what can I get you now? He says, can you get me a new nurse? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize he was that sick. <laughs> Lights, bedpans, and, and drugs. drugs. 